guys, so today the sound might be a little different. I'm in a different room. I am sitting on my couch in the living room. So today I'm doing a non-makeup related video. I am so passionate in DIY projects. Um, my entire house is built and like decor, mostly DIY. Things I find at the thrift store, things I find that I create, things that I can put together cheaper than I can find them online because I don't have a lot of money because I have lots of student loans. I would just show you guys some simple home decor that I do that is inexpensive, super fast, super easy, and kind of one-stop shop. You can go to one store and get all this stuff you need. If you guys like these kind of videos, please give it a thumbs up. Um, comment down below the dolphin emoji so that way I know that you guys want to see more of these videos. I have all sorts of stuff around my house that's DIY. But here I am on my coffee table. We're going to try this out. Okay, I'll show you what I got. So to start, I got a bunch of really simple frames. These ones are from Hobby Lobby. Just so you guys know, eight and a half by 11 is your standard piece of white paper, and we'll have to remember that as the video goes on. These at Hobby Lobby, you always buy stuff when they're 50% off at Hobby Lobby, because otherwise I don't understand why you would. These go on sale with the regular wooden frames and the frame decor. So they're normally $4, so you get them 50% off and they're $2. So I got a bunch of these, we're gonna be using them today. An eight by 10 is just another picture frame size you can have. And then this two pack of four by sixes at Walmart, I think was maybe like three or four bucks. It really wasn't that expensive. And then I got some five by sevens. I got some at Walmart and then I also got some at Hobby Lobby. So these are gonna be the frames that we use to frame our stuff. I like these, they're very simple. The glass in them is actually plastic. So if you have small children or animals that might knock them down, you're not gonna be worried about anything breaking and hurting someone. They're also super lightweight and easy to replace. They're super cheap. I can hang these using command strips and I don't have to put a bunch of nails in my wall when I do a gallery wall because I am a renter and that's important to me. I printed off a bunch of cute little quotes. This is an example of what an eight and a half by 11 looks like. This is a whole piece of paper. This, and we're going to put it in this frame. And I'll show you how we do that. You just pop out. So you literally just pop the front out like that. And then flip it over. Pop it out. And then this is how lazy I am. I just literally take that thing out and then I just do this. And then you just line it up and snap it back in place. And it's literally so easy. See? And then you have like this really cute put on your gallery wall. I really like um, cute quotes with like nice font, but I am a messy person and I can't make fonts. So this is something I got off Etsy. I paid, I think a $1.50 or a dollar to get the instant download. And once you get an instant download, you can make it an eight and a half by 11 size, or you can shrink it down to size. I also like to just type up quotes on Microsoft Word and use a, like a cute little font to make it look nice. This is an example of one I did before. This is another one I downloaded off Etsy, I think it was like 50 cents for this print and I just put it in this frame. And you can also do something like this. This is a card that one of my best friends wrote me asking to be her bridesmaid and I just popped it in a frame and it's super cute and black and white like the theme of my room and I get to put this on my wall forever now. I didn't do a download for this one. This is one I got online. I literally just Google searched cute quotes or just whatever and it came up and then I reframed it in Microsoft Word. So I made sure the box it goes in is roughly five by seven and I'm gonna put it in this frame. The thing about Google text like this is you have to make sure it has a white background.
So I don't know when that stopped recording because I didn't pay attention. So this is a picture I took on my really nice camera of my sister's cat, Milton. This is a picture of my sister and I from graduation. I took this on my front facing selfie camera. Like look at this four by six, that looks such good quality. And just the picture is a nice quality, it looks nice and crisp. I wouldn't do anything bigger than a four by six, but that looks really nice. This is a picture I took myself of Watkins Glen. This was actually taken on my iPhone and I blew it up to a eight by 10 picture and it actually looks really good far away. If you get up close, you can tell it's like kind of grainy and stuff, but this is really nice and I just popped it in a really quick eight by 10 frame because that is the size I got printed. So this is a picture frame I have in my room. This is a picture of Fluffy and I from before she passed away and I had this framed. This picture I have in here then printed at Walmart and then look at the difference of this picture compared to that one. The blue in my shirt is really messed up. My shirt is navy blue and red. Just the lighting of these two pictures is so different and this one is just such better quality. You can see my face details so much better. So this is the picture from Mpix, which cost me about $3 to print. And then this is the picture from Walmart that also cost me about $3 to print. Just the quality of detail and picture, cleansliness and accuracy in the Mpix picture and high definition compared to the Walmart picture is just unsurpassed. So I'm gonna switch out the picture in this frame for this nicer one. And like I was saying before, I use command strips, so let me zoom you back out. And this frame was originally $21.99 at Hobby Lobby and then I got it on discount for $4.50. So it's awesome, so I'm just gonna pop up all these stupid little tabs and then switch the picture out. Just a frame I got at the thrift store, spray painted lime green, and this is a piece of scrapbook paper. So this is just a white piece of scrapbook paper. I need it as a backing. These are just simple little cards. They are five and a half by four and a half inches, and I couldn't find a frame, and I didn't want to cut the cards. So they're just really simple note cards. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tape this centered in an eight by 10 frame, and then Is up on my wall tonight and make a gallery wall. I have a few other quotes that I'm going to put there as well and then I will show you guys some pictures on my Instagram my gallery wall I made and I hope you guys like these videos. Again, if you want to see DIYs, put the dolphin emoji so I know. I don't know why I did that. Put the dolphin emoji so I can do more for you. I've done a bunch of DIY projects. My coasters, someone asked me if I got them from Anthropology. Nope, did it myself. And I've done a bunch of other cool things around my house just to make it unique and cute and do it as cheap as I can because I'm broke. And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like to see me be weird and creepy, just subscribe. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.